The thing is, most of us tend to find that our stomach is the hardest part to lose fat. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenna and today I'm going to give you one movement that is guaranteed to get you abs so much faster. I'm certain that the majority of you are not implementing this in your ab workouts and this is one of the main reasons you can't get results. But first of all, before I jump into it, which I will do very soon, I do need to backtrack just a little and cover a few important things first. It's likely you've heard the old saying, abs are made in the kitchen. Well, that's not entirely true. What I'm about to explain is very important that you understand Understand. I'm going to keep it very simple and not go deep into the science behind it because I know it's boring and you just want it explained to you in an easy to digest manner in a way that's relatable. Abdominals are muscles that sit underneath fat and skin. We are all born with these muscles whether you can see them or not. I can promise you that they are there. However, the reason some people's abs are more visible than others comes down to one, your body fat percentage and two, how toned your abdominal muscles are. Now to tone our abs and by this I mean to build muscle and make them more defined, we absolutely must be exercising them regularly and with the correct technique. Eating healthy food alone will not grow your abdominal muscles. However, a poor diet and poor macronutrient balance will make it very difficult to build abs. This is because your muscles need nutrients to make them grow, the main nutrients here being protein. To build muscle, it's important that you get enough protein in your diet on a daily basis. So when someone says abs are made in the kitchen, that's only partially true. It's a combination of good nutrition and regular exercise. What people actually mean when they're saying this is that you can do as many exercises, as many ab crunches as you like, but if your diet is poor and you're consuming too many calories, it's likely you'll have excess body fat and you won't be able to see those abs underneath that you've been working so hard for. The thing is, most of us tend to find that our stomach is the hardest part to lose fat. We can't change the way our body stores fat, this all comes down to genetics, but we can take the necessary steps to lose fat regardless of the body type we are born with. Okay, something else that you must know is that you cannot spot reduce body fat. There is no way to target a specific area of your body such as your stomach and lose fat in that area only and keep the rest of your body looking exactly the same. When we lose fat, it comes off our entire body. It just so happens that our stomach seems to be the last place that we lose weight. It can be really hard to shift those stubborn fat cells. That's why you do need a certain level of discipline and consistency to get down to that necessary body fat level to reveal your abdominals. If you do have the idea in mind that you can spot reduce body fat, there is no known way to do this. So to tone your abs and really define them, you must perform well-constructed ab workouts with the correct technique. And to reveal your abs, you must burn the excess body fat that is covering them. That is as simple as I can put it. This is done by putting yourself in what's called a calorie deficit. A calorie deficit is when you consume less calories than you burn on a daily basis. Doing this long enough at a steady, sustainable pace will get your body fat low enough so you can finally see your hard-earned abs. On the other hand, being in a calorie surplus, and we all no, this is very easy to do, is when you consume more calories than you burn on a daily basis. And those excess calories that aren't burnt off as energy are stored in your body in the form of fat. It is easier to go into a calorie surplus consuming too many carbohydrates. This is usually just because carb-rich foods are less satiating, so you find yourself hungrier sooner. And if you're eating the wrong carbs, such as high sugar foods, then you're going to crave those foods again pretty quickly. Also, carb-rich foods do tend to be more calorie dense, so it is easy to overconsume those foods and then go over your daily caloric requirement for the day. So with the nutrition side covered and knowing that you do need to exercise to build and define your abs, to do this you need to be making sure that you're performing the exercises correctly. Having the correct technique cannot be stressed enough. With incorrect technique you'll often end up hurting your back, your neck and very little work will actually be going into your abdominals. You need to make sure that your technique is right so you don't waste your time working out and doing exercises that just aren't working those muscles properly. If the muscles you're trying to work aren't being contracted then they're not being worked enough to make them grow and tone up. So when it comes to ab training, a lack of proper contraction in these muscles is so common and one of the main reasons you cannot build your abs and see your abs more. So come with me and let me show you one movement that you can start doing instantly to insanely speed up your journey to getting abs. I can guarantee you this works. I'm going to start by using a basic crunch as an example. When most people perform crunches, it looks a little something like this. 
If you take a look, my chest is caving, I'm rounding my shoulders, my neck is coming forward and my lower back is arched enough that I can slide my hand under. This happens because of a combination of having a weak core and trying to push out too many repetitions. You're using your neck and upper body to perform the crunch movement as opposed to contracting your core muscles. Once you contract your abdominals, you will instantly notice a difference in how the exercise feels. Press your shoulders and elbows back, open your chest and press your lower back into the floor by tilting your pelvis under. As you crunch, breathe out and focus on contracting your abdominals as hard as possible. Squeeze them tight and control yourself back down. This will instantly make the exercise harder to perform and will reduce the amount of reps you can do, but it will relieve pain in your neck, back and increase the burn in your abs. Another exercise that focuses more on your lower abs is the reverse crunch. Again, most people will perform this exercise swinging their hips up by loosely crunching their core and curling their back. This again is going to give you back pain and your abs aren't being contracted enough to get the full benefits of this exercise. Instead, press your shoulders back into the floor, tilt your pelvis under so your lower back is pressed into the floor and as you raise your legs off, breathe out and contract your abs tight while gently lifting your lower back off the floor. Keep them contracted as you lower back down in a controlled movement. Now, last of all, I'm going to give you one bonus exercise that you can do to strengthen your core super fast. If your lower back is arched, then your abs aren't contracted. To contract them, you need to press your lower back into the floor. Lie on your back and put your feet on the floor and knees bent. Tilt your pelvis under and press your lower back into the floor. Contract your abs, breathe out and lift your upper body off the floor. Hold this for 10 seconds, then slowly release, keeping your back pressed into the floor. Rest 10 seconds and repeat. Do this for 2 minutes each day and you'll soon build a much stronger core, which will allow you to perform ab exercises correctly and get the most benefits from them. So there you go guys, by breathing out and contracting your abs as much as possible with every repetition while using the correct technique as explained, I guarantee you, you will start seeing results so much faster. If you do have any questions, please leave me a comment and we'll see you next time.